<laughs> for one episode. I'm serious, but we'll get down to that later on. Sarah, I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> like my first reaction when I heard the anime was going to exist was, you have a new angle. There's something you can do with the anime now. No, I think that, you know, that's cool too. This is, I think we're still dedicated to playing crazy games with this box of toys that we've been given. Um, but uh, as far as the direct meta break, we're going to have to work on that. That's a good, that's a good hard nut to crack. Thanks for asking. Uh, you know, Jared, you took Sam to some very dark places last season. Uh, we, we've seen some glimpses of what went on in that sort of missing year. Do you think that, that have they hinted at you that there's even more? Are there even more horrible things he was involved in? Uh, well, without saying too much, uh, no, um, yes, 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 thank you. <laughs> Yes, there's obviously more. Um, I kind of touched on that earlier in a few interviews, but um, there's a lot that, that Sam has seen that now he can see again, now that the wall has fallen. And I, for my part, am really excited about kind of playing Sam that doesn't really know which reality he's in. You know, because Sam is obviously, <clears throat> for those who haven't watched the show, Sam had some hard times last season. Yeah. And, uh, and now we get to play with, with Sam's healing. And I think the, the Winchester brothers have always kind of, um, they've always uh, reacted to things with courage and bravery and been strong about it. And, and what excited me so far, the scripts that I've read, is that Sam is, is, is way out of his league. He feels out of his league a little bit. It's kind of scary. So I actually read it and I was getting chills. Um, and I was scared. I was really excited about making this show scary again. And we get to see what you know what can scare the Winchester boys. So we get to play with that. So exactly. And, uh, and Jensen, they don't keep Misha shirtless scares the Winchester boys. <laughs> Take it off. I think you're confusing fear with jealousy. <laughs> Your character at the end of the last season, either uh, you know, obviously you have a very big problem to deal with right now, which is that angel calling himself God. But how much is weighing on your character of what he just had to sacrifice and what he had to sort of leave behind going forward? Um, well, I, I think the, the, the goodbye to, to Ben and Lisa, uh, you know, tough as it, as it was on Dean, I think it was a, a, a necessity. You know, he he comes to the realization that that's that's never going to be his. Uh, no matter how much he dreams about it, no matter how much he, he would, would love it to be. So he, he's a hunter, he'll always be a hunter, and that's, that's just the way it's going to be. So I think that that was, um, that was uh, a must, and, uh, and, it, and it happened, and it, it, was a, it was a tough scene to, to shoot just you know, for, Dean, or for me as Dean. It was, uh, it was a, a sad goodbye, but um, you know, now we've got, a, now we've got a, a bigger problem on our hands. Yeah. Well, that leads me to a question that I was going to ask this question, but uh, someone on Twitter also asked it. AJ Snow 76, you've got a character saying, I am God, but you have a character out there that a lot of people speculated about, which is Chuck. <laughs> and I'm uh, just curious, you know, might uh, he be appearing again? Might you touch upon that? Uh, now that you're going with Sabrina Roman Castiel. Um, Chuck does not appear in the early part of the season. We have no plans for him to. Hmm. Also, um, a big part of, um, you know, uh, Cass stepping up and taking this sort of mantle on and saying, I'm the new God, is that he has always felt really strongly that his father abandoned him all. Like, where is God when you need him? We have this storyline about him looking for God, and God never showed up. He did the whole go out for cigarettes and never go back thing. So, um, that's, a, that's always been a big thing for him. So, one of the questions we asked ourselves was, um, well, you're God, what do you do? You're God, you know, you get to be your dad. You've got your dad did a crappy job. What are you gonna do differently? And before everything goes completely to hell for him, which of course it does, because it's television, um, you know, he gets, to, he gets to do what we think God would maybe do, cast for God. So that's it. Misha, what's it been like for you uh, preparing to uh, yeah, take on your, your godly mantle? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> like I said, it's just, I, it's I, like I, I, I'm taking, another day in the office. Yeah, I'm taking a lot, lot from my personal life and, and leaving it into the, 
<laughs> Getting him to take it off is the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very method, so I, I know, I've been smiting. I've been smiting took him to far more than usual up in Vancouver. You might have seen it on the news. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's, it's definitely a daunting challenge. Um, it's, it's funny. It's one of those things that actually I, I, I got kind of nervous about. It. This is a big, it's a big challenge. I mean, you had to be Satan. It's kind of, right? Yes. <laughs> gotta take That's much. <laughs> I've got to take a page from you. That's the way to answer questions. Um, I think that everybody on Supernatural at some point or another has an opportunity to play a very interesting, very um, epic, mythological character. And it's uh, something that I, uh, we don't get to do you know, on working on other shows. Um, it's, it's an unusual treat to get to do and, and, uh, and an unusual challenge. I'm thinking of, it's almost earnest. That was, yeah. That was heartfelt. Creepy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we should come. In this show, because the characters get to change and transform so much, I'm trying to think. I think every single one of you has had a death scene. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, a death scene? scene? Yeah. 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 Or, 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 uh, right. Like six times? Have you, have you all uh, enjoyed A, getting to do your big death scene, and then B, getting told, and, and you're okay, don't worry, you know, you're serious. I've died like 40 times in one episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I died again. Sarah, do you make a lot of uh, phone calls saying, uh, don't worry when you read that page of the script, you get better? Is that like a we, we actually do make a lot of phone calls to actors and current actors on the show. You know, it's a, a polite and good thing to do as a producer <laughs> to call an actor when they're going to get pages that say they die. Um, and one of the things we say is that death doesn't mean the same thing on Supernatural that it means on other shows. Um, you know, like Lee. A lot of talk. Was that a <laughs> Well, we so we made that call to a lot of actors. Jared and Jensen, don't worry about it. But every everyone, you know, no one is safe on the show. But uh, Jared and Jensen, don't worry about it. You know how many times Jensen has cried in my arms? <laughs> You're not gonna die, Jensen. You're not gonna die. It's so okay. Sweet. We can't do it without you. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're going to start taking uh, questions from you guys. Just a few minutes to get those prepared. I'm <laughs> serious. It's not personal. No, the, uh, the fans, it's, it's, you know, conflict is good drama. And then, of course, though, some of the fans are like, why do Sam and Dean have to be fighting, you know, all the time? But for you guys, though, you know, is it, is it fun for you? You know, you get along in real life to be like, all right, right now we're, you know, we're at odds. We get to uh, hate each other for the day. <laughs> I, think the, I think the brother bickering is, has always been, um, you know, a part of the show that that, that he and I have just kind of done, uh, you know, pretty easily. It's when, like last year, when uh, when Sola Sam was was around, um, and he wasn't playing Sam, that was that was a real kind of challenge, I think, for for, uh, for me as an actor because it wasn't it wasn't Sam. I wasn't able to play Dean with Sam like I had been. Five seasons, so I think that was that was definitely a challenge. But the uh, no, we have no problem fighting with each other. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though, I, that that is one of my favorite parts. The, the brothers bickering, the brothers fighting. I felt like it's a, like I can remember certain times. I don't know what the episode was or what it's called, but I remember we shot one scene. I want to say either Bob or Kim directed it, season one or two, or fighting like in a motel room, like snap out of it. And I feel like after each and every one of those scenes, I feel like Sam grew uh, kind of by accident, in spite of himself, as opposed to, you know, or in spite of myself. Mm -hmm. um, and so I enjoy those scenes because inevitably something, when you've worked with somebody for so long as an actor and know them so well as a human being, um, you're able to get more out of each other. You know, if a guest star comes on, no matter how talented they are, and they're often very talented, uh, they can't quite pull out of you what somebody that you know. It's like you always hurt the ones you love, you know? Like someone, you always hurt them the most, they always hurt you the most. The better you know somebody, the more you can push their buttons and the more your buttons can be pushed. And so I feel like, as Jared, I feel like my character grows when I have these intense scenes with Jensen. Um, and that was difficult for me too to do solace because there'd be parts where I was kind of just, I 
zoom dead eye. I don't know what I look like. <laughs> but I was trying to do dead eyes. Like. <laughs> and then I felt so bad because I couldn't react and respond to Jensen, the dean. Um, but uh, now we get to like, fight again. <laughs> that wasn't really, I was hoping for like a climax at the end of the question. Like, <laughs> ah! All I get is now we get to fight again. So bear with me. <laughs> Jim, uh, not, not that any of these characters are lucky in love, but uh, you know, last season it was pretty sad when we got that glimpse of uh, another life for your character. You know, do you ever say, uh, you Always know, a bride, oh, never a bridesmaid, something. Always <laughs> a bride, never a bride. <laughs> I think you, no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> have you talked to, uh, have you talked to, uh, oh, Ben, so Sarah, these guys, and said, uh, I said, hey, could, could this guy finally, uh, finally uh, find some long-term happiness? Didn't you kiss Mark? Yeah. yeah. Maybe the two of you, yeah. Did he shave? Were you clean shaven? Yeah. We're not looking like for it. Was like a mustache fight? Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a beard. <laughs> um, you know, the, it, it, it comes up in discussion every once in a while. And, uh, Thus far, it hasn't ended well. Um, uh, I I have this sneaking suspicion that um, um, I don't know that we haven't seen the last of Sheriff Mills uh, in in Bobby's life in one way or another. But that's just a sneaking suspicion, um, and it's one I would fully support if it came out of that, <laughs> because. Uh, Unlike the Sheriff Mills that I played on Harper's Island, this Sheriff Mills is hot. <laughs> so, uh, I'm up for that. Uh, before, so we start, before we start the audience questions, are there any characters you can talk about? Because your show is great at bringing people back. You look back from years ago, you might not even be thinking about any plans for some characters to return? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe is coming back, actually. Joe? Joe. Fucking Really? Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> really? See, we find out when you find out, isn't that great? <laughs> we actually found out after, because the sound echoed and hit us through applause. We, uh, I mean, that's a perfect example of someone who dies on the show, and we're literally sitting in the editing room watching dailies and going, I can't wait to bring her back. <laughs> so we've just been waiting for the right story for her, and um, we have one, so we're bringing her back. Um, Sheriff Mills is returning for uh, an episode or two. And, um, at least, and, um, uh, who, who else is coming back? Um, <laughs> gentleman down there with his hand. You with the beard. Uh, we do have plans for Crowley to return. <laughs> um, uh, death.
this point too with YouTube, we have five or six, it's like the 29 words for snow. We have so many different ways of saying that YouTube exchange a look. <laughs> we could just write a scene of the different looks YouTube exchange. We probably could. Yeah. yeah, we were going to have like, you could probably cut together an entire episode <laughs> of just Sam looking at Dean it's and Dean looking look. back at yeah. yeah. I believe I've seen that on YouTube, Jensen. I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. Are we okay? Hi, Whitney, and this is Rosemma. I'm Jared. <laughs> Hello. We love you guys, and we're like the biggest Bruce fans, and we just love all you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Even Misha? Yeah. <laughs> Misha. Not in that order. <laughs> and our question is for Jensen. We're wondering oh, come what on. similarities you have with your character. What similarities I have? Um, I, I have not. Physique. <laughs> Physique. The same hair. Yeah. <laughs> Looks. Uh, height. <laughs> definitely height. Uh, yeah, similar height. Uh, you know, I would say that. Uh, it, you look back to maybe season one, and there were probably a lot more characteristics that we shared. Um, I think over the years, Dean has kind of evolved into a, a much more specific character that I am not. Um, so, uh, you know, similarities, we like the same kind of music. Um, we, uh, we, we, like, uh, we like vintage cars. Um, and that's about it. They both air guitar all the time, whenever Eye of the Tiger comes on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, and neither one of us can, can stop ourselves when Survivor plays, apparently. So that's, uh, no, I, that's, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hi, um, my question's for Misha. Now I'm just wondering if being the Antichrist has helped you, like, maybe influence you on being God cast. Wait, wait, can you repeat the question? Has, um, since you're the Antichrist and all that, has that, like, influenced you how you play Cass as God? Wait, are you asking if he's actually the Antichrist? <laughs> no, so no, like, ah, I'm not sure I like this question. <laughs> you get a variety of answers from us. Well, yeah, since I'm a Satanist, um... <laughs> that does, yeah, inform, um, uh, how I... <laughs> and and, and well, every time you asked the question just now, um, Jared was saying something about <laughs> so that I, it's hard to actually process two things at once. I'm finding. Um, so I don't. You don't. I know still what don't know what the question was. What is the question? Um, on your Twitter, like there's this really weird church group that said you were the Antichrist. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I don't know how they figured that out. <laughs> Because I was trying to keep it totally under wraps, but I obviously oh, slipped well. up a couple of times, and uh, cat's out of the bag, so. <laughs> yep, I guess I've just got to embrace it now. I think you should smite them. Yeah. Hey, Actually, you. that's kind of ironic. You'll, you, you'll uh, understand why when you see the, the first episode of the season. <laughs> sure, sure. Next question, please. Just to make this clear, I came a long way for the show. I even kept down, so... Nice. Wait, you which? Very good. I come from Guadalajara, so... Really? Uh, Is that an organ? No, it's not. <laughs> 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 it's not Thank you. Okay, uh, so my question is for Jensen and Jared. Okay, I saw you five... I saw you guys five years ago in Los Angeles when you were doing the first season. Honestly? I'll let you go first. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was uh, I was surprised and, and also proud uh, at the fact that 
uh, Mr. Kripke kept to his word and, and wrote those wrote those five years uh, the, the the way he had planned and, and the fact that he had a plan for five season seasons still boggles my mind because I, I you know after writing a pilot I wouldn't know where to go from there so um, the fact that he had five years lined up and then he kept to it and he just didn't stretch those five years into six or seven or eight or nine however long we're going to go that he kept to it I, that I thought was was really uh, uh, really cool and. Uh, because the story of these two brothers just continues to evolve. It, I, I think the, the stories are kind of endless. So, um, you know, we've got the, I have faith in these guys, and, and um, as, as long as they keep kicking out stories, we'll, we'll keep telling them. Thank you, yes. Uh, Jared's right here, too. How about you, too? Sarah, just to, just to follow up on that, you know, do you guys have other, have you had further discussions, you know, about when it might end, or you know, just, right now you've got a lot of stories to tell that you've been taking year by year? Well, we hope it goes on for a long time. Uh, you know, Eric did create kind of a perfect franchise to keep going, and we have fresh blood in the room this year, and it's kind of amazing how much fresh energy there is. So. We have a plan in place if this is the last year, and we have a firm plan in place if it isn't. Next question, please. That'll be up to you guys. We have time for one more question. Hey, this is a question for Ben. Um, you know, every time they open the trunk, they have this like arsenal in there, like all these incredibly cool things. And like specifically, every time I see those ninja stars, I'm like, oh my god, they're ninja stars. I want to get one of those so bad. I know. So, so I that is a grenade launcher. Yes. Why? Why can't we use the grenade launcher in the Ninja Stars? <laughs> oh, the, the heavy weapons. When will we start blowing things up with the weapons in their trunk? Well, that, I, I love the Ninja Stars, but you could do the ordinance too, you know, whatever you want. But please do it. Ben just fast. pitched a ninja story. He's like, I just want to make a ninjas. I think oh. that they should fight the ninjas. And I don't know, maybe they could use the stars. Uh, uh, so you're asking when will we like flesh use more of these crazy weapons in various stories? I think if we use things like grenade launchers, then the stories tend to end about two acts early because everything just blows up. And we're done. So we the Department of Homeland Security. Comes <laughs> <laughs> oh, the starships. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe ninja, maybe stars, ninja stars. That's that's what we can use against the Jefferson stars. What we should do is just a scene with you guys, like practicing with the ninja stars. I don't know if you've ever thrown ninja stars. I used to do it a lot. They just they fly all over the place. I'd like to see you guys try to learn. Maybe you're great at them. I'm not sure. Well, I remember when you guys wrote that Dean was throwing knives in one episode a couple of seasons ago, and um, my trailer looked like Swiss cheese. <laughs> by the end. I, I kid you not, they set up like a board and I just started chucking knives in my trailer. I was aiming to start out right I wasn't really good at first. <laughs> That's hard. Throwing knives are tough. So yeah, yeah. So we'll maybe do some shurikens. That's I think the official name for the... the... Also, it turns out ninjas didn't use those, historically speaking. Now I'm just using history to bring everyone down. <laughs> Do we have one more? One more here? Oh no, we just have an amazing costume. Though. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Send her up here. <laughs> That's a much cuter angel than the one we deal with. Come on up, you winged trench coat. Uh, and a very special friend there. That's right. Uh, we got some special stuff to show you. Uh, just yeah. a brief, as a brief intro, Supernatural the anime, how does that even exist? I can't think of any other modern American TV show where there's an anime version made at the same time. Apparently, we're big in Japan. <laughs> you know, we we have seen it and it blows our minds. Um, we we you know the first I saw of it was Eric called me into his office and said you're not going to believe this you have to see this and it was the concept drawings and I thought they were genius. Um, the Japanese um, creative team have leave to do their own thing with it and I think have been really cool and respectful and creative and have given their own spin to the series, and Jared and Jensen have given their voices to at least some of the episodes, I think. How many? Um, oh yeah, yeah, I did a five and all. 
What was, what was, what was that like for you guys to, uh, to get to? And not, you don't have to worry about any hair or makeup, you just get to go in and uh, record the voices? Uh, yeah, you know what? Well, unfortunately, we um, they came to us when, when I was also playing like three Sams. And so I was playing uh, um, Hell Sam, as he was called in the script, and Solda Sam, and Sam Sam. And then going to the make, I'm sorry, they, uh, Sam Sam. <laughs> and then going to the sound truck and playing like season one Sam. So I was like, Sam, you better go up. And then went to the trailer and like, I want to go back to law school. <laughs> it was definitely a, uh, it was definitely a, a juggling act for a little bit there. But I think it looks great. I don't know if everybody's seen it, but it's scary. Part of them are pretty scary. Well, guys, you're about to see a glimpse of it, but want to thank all these guys for coming out.